everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and heavy bookish merch for readers. So I just had my mystery grab bag sale a few days ago. Oh my gosh, it went so amazingly well. If you saw my last vlog, I brought you guys along with me for the actual launch of it. So overall, I ended up getting over 200 orders in about six or so hours. It was such an amazing sale day. Yeah, it exceeded my wildest expectations. I still have a couple mystery bookmark grab bags left, but that's to be expected with just how many grab bags I made. I mean, you guys saw the video two weeks ago, me making them. We made a lot of grab bags. Yeah, so I'm leaving those up till, you know, they sell out, but we only still have a couple of those left. But besides that, everything really sold. So that was amazing because I really needed to move a lot of that inventory out. So that was exciting. So today and tomorrow, we're gonna be working on packing up those orders. I um, was actually gonna be filming this video starting yesterday. However, my when I got up in the morning, my body was just like, no, we're not doing anything today. And I just, I think with how hard I've been working the past few weeks, it just finally caught up with me. And I was just exhausted. Like my muscles didn't want to move. I was just dragging myself around. I was just, I was so tired. So I was, my body was like, you know what? No, we're chilling today. We are not working, just relax. So I just laid around all day yesterday. So we are, I'm feeling better today. So we are going to get things packed. It'll probably be a, well, I was gonna say a two day thing. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. I don't know if I'll finish packing everything up by Saturday. It's funny because the grab bags were actually going so well like the main mystery grab bags, which has like notepads, socks, you know, it could be anything from my shop in it. They were going so fast and there were still so many people on the site that I actually added more available like a couple minutes into the sale. So at some point I need to pack up the extra um, quantity of uh, grab bags that I added on to there, but uh, it's, I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful that it went so well. And then we just got a delivery of three different book sleeve designs recently. You probably saw, oh, I just hit you, I'm so sorry. You probably saw this one uh, in my uh, community tab. I shared a picture. Toby was checking these out like the good little kitty supervisor that he is. This book sleeve. So from an outsider perspective, you're just like, oh, cute little kitties under a moon right no 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 there's a story to this so a couple videos ago i shared this but this design hear me out i'm gonna sound crazy i know it but hear me out this design is actually inspired by what's going to be chris and i's first dance song at our wedding and our, our theme is going to be written in the stars because we both love astronomy and the song talks about like being under the moon and like your love shining down onto the person that you love for like eternity and I don't like drawing people I love drawing cats and Chris and I are cat people so I drew us as cats <laughs> he's the gray kitty he picked out what color cat he wanted to be I'm the orange kitty and we're just hanging out under the moon and we've got some heart clouds and yeah, I know it's kind of like an out there story, but you know, sometimes you get inspiration from random spots. And I'm just so excited with how these turned out. So we have, that's the medium. No, that was the large size. This is the medium. And then the small size is so cute. Look at that. So uh, I'm probably, I was gonna say, I'm probably gonna do the book sleeve launch and give a date, but I don't have a date. So, I don't know. I want to give myself time to get the mystery grab bags packed up first. I've just really been like pushing myself a lot lately and I just, this combined with wedding planning, it's a lot of effort. A lot of effort goes into that. <laughs> but um, it's fun. So anyways, we got that and then we have two other designs. So we got um, one of my botanical plant patterns, like a repeat pattern on some sleeves for the springtime. And then we also turned one of my very older designs, which was the dog riding his, like a scooter in front of the Eiffel Tower at night. It's a placement print. But then I also have a print coming that's repeat pattern and it's like different things like having to do with Italy. And I'm thinking it might be fun to do like a travel 
book sleeve restock where it's like the Italy designs and then the Paris one. So I think I'm gonna do those together. These are gonna be by themselves. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I need Chris to be with me to, because I wanna do it like a picture like where we shared on social media. I'm on one side holding it, he's on the other, because it's like a book sleeve about us. And I thought it'd be fun to include him in the picture. So that's kind of what's been going on around here. We are just gonna be packing away today. We are gonna be packing away tomorrow. I'm not sure if we're doing anything else. We might be drawing. I don't know, we're gonna see where the rest of the week takes us. I did wanna say, side note, a lot of you guys have been asking when I'm gonna be having a new wedding planning vlog up. I'm probably gonna have one up in a few weeks. This next one's gonna be kind of like a mishmash of, is that how you say it? Is it mishmash, mishmash or mix match? <laughs> Which one is? <laughs> I don't know. Mix match or mishmash? Mishmash is easier to say. Mix mash, mix, mix match, mishmash. Mishmash of, uh, things so like going venue searching but i'm not like showing the venue or saying where the venue is because privacy concerns <laughs> um but i'm gonna it'll be like in the car ride chris mom and i talking about the places and everything that we've seen and then um getting our um, decorations and favor bags together for our virtual engagement party and then it's gonna be uh, bringing you guys along with me to go shopping for decor for the first time so there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff i um admittedly i don't really have everything done yet for that video so uh it's gonna be a few weeks but i promise it'll be available soon i'll also have pictures of the dress that i tried on that i almost picked but didn't end up picking i'm not going to share the pictures of the dress that i did pick because i want that to be a surprise but i'm going to share pictures of that too so it's going to be a fun video there's going to be a lot of content in it so just wanted to let uh, let you guys know that for anyone that was um asking when the next vlog would be up for that so on that note we are going to get into packing the orders and here we go
Okay, so the grab bags are very quickly filling up the bin that I put finished packed packages in. So I am going to buy the shipping labels for the ones that we just packed up and uh, get those put to and then get those put this and then get those put to the side and then continue packing up more. So I'm taking a little break because my neck is starting to hurt really, really bad. So what is that? Oh, geez. I was leaning on the table. So it's like, oh, yeah. Okay. What was I saying? What was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? Neck pain. Okay, I guess that's all I was saying is I was taking a break because of neck pain. Okay, anywho, um, while I'm on my break, I was going to tell you guys that yesterday I got... Um, the planner stickers in the mail that I've been waiting for so you know how a few weeks ago we got um, the ones that are matte stickers in the mail and unboxed those and I liked them but then they had included some samples of ones where it's like a glossy feel to it which kind of to me just feels a bit more durable and I really liked those so I decided <laughs> even though I just bought everything in a matte style I was like I want to do glossy style for the ones that you don't have to write on so those just got delivered yesterday I am very happy with the decision to do the glossy ones I really like the look and feel of those and I just I don't know I just I really like it and they make me a bit more excited to put out there for you guys so I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to work on getting a little launch together of kind of reintroducing sticker sheets to my shop and I'm probably gonna have that go up sometime early April and then I think what I'm also going to do, I, I haven't decided yet if I want to include this when I have the launch of 
the new sticker sheets or if I want to do this maybe I'll have this be like a birthday sale thing or another sale thing I don't know but I want to take all the matte stickers so let me back up here so stickers that you can write on like if you're writing book reviews or book ratings those are going to remain the matte style because you have to have matte to be able to write on it but like decorative stickers that you don't have to write on those are going to be glossy so all the decorative stickers that I got in the matte style I think what I want to do for that is have kind of like a planner sticker sheet grab bag sale or just surprise sale or something like that where I don't know it could be grab bag stickers of like 10 sticker sheets or something and it's a total surprise what you get and um, like have them discounted and stuff I don't know when I would do that sale but I think that's how I want to do it at some point because I have a lot of matte stickers sitting here and I gotta do something with them. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. And then I've had some people asking um, when the botanical launch is gonna be. And just to be upfront, I have not even started illustrating anything for the botanical launch yet. I have all my sketches done, so like the black and white sketches are ready to go, but I haven't had a minute to actually illustrate it and bring it to life with color. I've been working on getting the April Emily Cromwell Designs box together. I've been drawing the monthly clubs. I've been doing freelance design work. I've been packing orders. I've been planning a wedding, so I don't have a date yet for that. If I think realistically about it, it will most likely be sometime in May. I don't know when, but um, I'm gonna work hard to get it done sooner rather than later because I know a lot of you guys are excited for that. So that is on my to-do list I've been working on, I promise. But yeah, so I'm gonna take just a little bit more of a break because my neck is hurting. I'm gonna buy the labels for the ones that I've already done and then I'll probably, I'll probably pack some more, but I don't think I'm gonna work full day today because it's just my my body has just been telling me like just rest and I'm trying to get better about listening to it so I'm gonna do that and then just take it easy and be all draw. I have to finish so actually tomorrow when I'm filming this is the reveal day for the April monthly bookmark and sticker clubs and I have all the bookmarks finished and I have two of the stickers finished I just have to finish the sticker sheet so that's actually a good excuse for me to finish early today because I have to finish the sticker sh Maybe I'll work, what time is it? It is 12.40. Maybe I'll work till 1.30. We'll see how much we get done till then. Go up, make early dinner, and finish the sticker sheet because I gotta get all that together and ready to be listed on the site tomorrow. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like and everything. Good morning everybody, how are we? I am currently um, rushing around the studio. So um, originally today I was planning on packing the mystery grab bags and just getting as many more packed of those as we can do. However, I was gonna go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow morning to shop for some decor for wedding stuff. However, um, we're supposed to get like a really bad rainstorm tomorrow and it's kind of like a 40 minute drive over to Hobby Lobby and I don't want to drive in the rain all the way over there so uh, my mom and I actually made an impromptu decision to go today on Friday and she wants to leave by 11 it is 10 a.m. I at least have to get a wholesale order finished today that I want to make sure ships for the customer so I'm kind of rushing around at the moment because I have an hour to make the magnet. Why is this not? Oh, come on. Hold on. My printer is not working with me. One second. Come on. Sometimes it doesn't like to take the paper. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me wheel back. Um, it's hectic this morning. So I am trying to get the magnetic bookmarks made for that order. And then I need to pull regular bookmarks for that order. And the good thing is, is that at least with not packing up um, grab bags today, it doesn't really put me behind because I'm still uh, pretty good with my processing times. So that's good. But that is what we are doing this morning. And then we're going to work on getting this done. Is this? bookmark for this order and yeah sunflower okay I'm all over the place <laughs> and then we are going to be heading to Hobby Lobby and then I'm thinking I was gonna show you 
this morning, but with me running around like crazy, um, I'm gonna be showing you later, either this afternoon or tomorrow, a sneak peek look at the designs for the April Emily Cromwell designs box, which I'm very excited about. I am continuing the cottage core theme. So I did cottage core for the March monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. All right, that printed right. And I'm wanting to also do a cottage core theme for the box because I know you guys said you really liked it. So, and I am I'm a little bit late with getting everything ready for that, but I, um, drew everything last night. I have two of the um, products completely illustrated and yeah one is already in production because one of the products that we're doing um, you guys had asked me to do again is socks so we are going to have some cottage core socks. Very excited. So let's get the magnetic bookmarks made first. able to get that done with literally 10 minutes to spare so I'm gonna get the shipping label bought for this and then we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby Everybody, how are we? I feel like this video is gonna be a little bit sporadic more so than my usual videos and I apologize for that. So I'm trying to figure out where we left off. I think we left off on Friday. Today is Saturday. 
So I was able to find some things at Hobby Lobby. I will share a bit more about that in my next wedding planning vlog if you guys want to see what I came across. And I was sub I was going to film yesterday. I was going to do a bunch of stuff yesterday. Um, however, I got sidetracked because Chris and I's engagement party was yesterday. And it kind of ended up taking over the whole day with getting ready for it, making sure everything was good to go. So I didn't end up filming yesterday for this vlog. So I apologize for that however i figured um i'd film a little bit today so i actually wanted to show you guys today um i feel like i just said today like five times in one minute i apologize <laughs> but um i wanted to show you guys some of the new artwork that i've been working on so i think i've mentioned that i haven't even started like illustrating with color for my new botanical collection however i have everything like well not everything but a lot of things sketched out and ready to go and then i'm also going to show you a sneak peek at the emily cromwell designs box so let me get my ipad here without dropping it and i'm going to show you some stuff okay so this is what i have for my botanical collection so far so i've shown you guys these three things that are in color this was actually new products that i made from designs that i've done before so one of the new designs is, I think it was like a year ago or something, someone asked me if I could do, it was either like a birdhouse bookshop or a library, I can't remember which one it was, but I decided to do a library. And instead of doing like my typical like path to whatever library or bookshop, I was like, let's really like make this an actual birdhouse library and this little guy is going to be hanging out on the tree here and he's got his book he's got his he's got his bookworm glasses on and we're just going to be hanging out in the sky here in a birdhouse library and i'm really excited about it this could almost make like a cute ornament you know yeah so that is one of the designs and then another one is i'm gonna try my hand at an arched bookshelf i've been seeing so many cute arched bookshelves like over the past few years and i'm like you know what i want to jump on this trend and try my hand at doing my own obviously as you can see i only like started sketching out some of like the details on the books that i want to do down here but all the books are going to end up having details on it and they're all going to be one of these combos down here and then another design is this one is going to be just one more chapter and we're just going to have this one i'm really picturing like maybe a notebook and like a cute book sleeve with some book elements but then botanical plant elements as well and this one i'm very very excited about i for some reason i love drawing plants that are just overflowing like majorly i don't know why i just think it's so like whimsical and little delicate leaves coming off so i'm very excited to bring this one to life i'm adding a flower in this tea here i don't know if that's weird but i'm going for it and then this is what was this this is going to be a pattern for something i don't know i think i was gonna oh yeah i was gonna turn this these elements are gonna be drawn and then turned into like a repeating pattern for let's see like book sleeves uh a bookmark and so many fun stuff i mean this honestly all these elements could probably honestly make up its own planner sticker sheet so i'll probably get to work on that and then this design i'm so excited about this one it's funny so back in college when i took an oil painting class um one of the things that we had to do to we had I think we had like two whole months just to work on one painting, two months. And all we did every single class was we just painted a still life and it had these glass bottles with all sorts of like random elements. But I loved working on painting like the glass bottles. And I always remember my teacher told me that I had a very like fluid approach to painting. And she was like, I don't know how to describe it, but like your brush marks just looks so fluidy and I just I took it as a compliment from her I took it as a compliment as well because she was a very hard teacher to please and she was very intimidating so the fact she said it with a smile on her face and kind of in an encouraging way I was like okay I'll take it so um, I am looking forward to drawing really like detailed glass bottles so I'm very excited about this design and then 
A lot of these designs, really what I'm doing is I'm actually working backwards for this collection because usually what I do is I will draw like the bookmarks first and take the designs from the individual bookmarks and turn those into like placements or repeat patterns. But I'm working a little bit backwards this time. So, no, no, go away. Why are you here? No. Ah, what is this? No. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I don't know what I did. But like, for example, how I have the full placement size of the Birdhouse Library. And then I'm going to take that and somehow turn it into a bookmark and put elements up here, elements down here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do something more than just sky. So we're going to figure something out. And then um, like this one more chapter placement print. I'm going to take the designs from that and bring it over into this and it's going to say just one more chapter on a bookmark and then the elements will be above it and below it and on the sides and stuff. So that is so far what I'm planning for the botanical collection. I'm probably going to have more ideas soon but then I also wanted to show you the designs for the April Emily Cromwell designs box. Okay so these have a little bit more substance to them. So this you probably notice that the artwork for this is much more simplified than I normally do. And that is because this design is going to be turned into socks. So this is, I actually turned into a repeating pattern on my computer. And these are going to be ankle socks because so many of you guys asked if I could do more ankle socks for the boxes. And then this is actually a sticky note that I'm working on. So um, actually, you know what? I didn't even tell you guys what the theme is for this collection. You can probably tell, but the theme for this collection is going to be um, I forget which word I put first. It's either bookstore cottage or cottage bookstore. I will let you know once I look at my computer. I wrote it down. It's going to be a lot of like cottage core aesthetic vibes, mushrooms, cozy colors, birds, all that fun stuff. So I am still working on the books. I have to do all the detail work on them. But that is the sticky note. And then this is the finished notepad. Again, I'm trying hard to incorporate more green for everybody that likes green. I know I'm not a big fan of green, but I'm trying hard to include that more in my designs. And then this is going to be different elements and they're going to be like fitting together more nicely than how this looks. But this is going to be the bookmark. It's going to be kind of like a toss pattern. And then... I'm going to be making um, two different vinyl sticker sheets are going to be in this as well. So these are going to be some of the individual icons. That is one of the sticker sheets. And then this is going to be the other sticker sheet that's going to be in there. Actually, I said birds earlier. I meant to say bumblebees. We're going to have cute little whimsical bumblebees. And then, um, let's see. And then this is going to be a notebook. So it's going to be a botanical notebook. So we're going to have our trees, sky, and going to be plants everywhere and I'm just so so excited to bring this to life and this is actually like something I really have to get together ASAP because today is the 24th I'm supposed to be sharing these designs on the 27th actually the day this video goes up so I'm gonna keep drawing hopefully I can finish it if not I'll probably just say I'll share it um like the 30th or something but I am trying hard to get that finished, so I think we're going to work on drawing for a little bit and we'll see what we can get done. I think while I'm drawing, I'm going to eat my pretzels from Chris and I's party last night. It says, Emily and Chris are tying the knot in 2025. <laughs> I had so much fun just putting together all like the different favor bags last night for everybody. It was, I had a blast. If I wasn't like an artist that had her own small business, I always say I would either be some type of like event planner because I love putting that stuff together. I would either be a vet because I love animals or I would be um, an astronaut or some type of astronomer because I love astronomy. Like I could talk about astronomy for days on end. But okay, got my gluten-free pretzels. We're going to just start drawing a little bit. I can't shoot it. There we go.
Okay guys, so I am actually gonna stop there for today because I need to head out to Michael's and another home goods store so that I can look for some more decor for the wedding. So I am, I'm probably not gonna illustrate again till tonight. So that's gonna be it for this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it's not too short. I know I was like doing really good there for a while with doing a lot of longer videos. So I hope this isn't too short and you guys can still enjoy it. So as always, thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. I will have an update for you guys next week about when we're gonna have the new book sleeves for the ones featuring the kitty designs and i actually just got um another delivery of book sleeves in yesterday so we have i think we have four designs plus the kitty so five total of book sleeves in stock right now so we're gonna have a lot of book sleeves very very soon so keep an eye out for that i will keep you posted and until then i hope you guys are reading some amazing books and i will see you in my next video bye